Spicy liberal, who shall not be named because I don't want to use his name for clout, dropped an absolutely heinous video essentially blaming the left for men falling down the right-wing pipeline. Usually I don't engage in, you know, grifter shenanigans because I don't think it's worth my time, but considering the happenings lately, um, and the fact that I, I don't know if I'm not as chronically online anymore, but it seems like there are no men pushing back against this guy. It seems like left leftist men have fallen for it, essentially. Have a fucking backbone. So with that being said, I am going to push back. I'm going to be a man that pushes back. Uh, so we at least have one, because the entire video uh, was worse than I thought it was going to be. Because I, I, I honestly don't uh, consume spicy liberal content, uh, so, you know, having to consume it for this video was quite a shock. And I could sit here and dissect every single word that he said, but I'm not going to, because I have a real job, and I need to go to sleep at some point. And I'm not going to waste my precious sleeping time dealing with this man. I'm going to push back on four different fronts. So the general crux of the spicy liberals thesis was that the left is responsible for men and boys falling down the right-wing pipeline because there are no spaces for men to speak about positive masculinity. He didn't use that wording, of course, and or he used the word give advice and sympathy to men. The entitlement of that statement Beyond words. First of all, if you think that there are no spaces on the, uh, you know, ominous left, know that I hate the general phrasing of the left. If you think there are no spaces on, you know, the left for men, then guess what? Leftist men need to make those spaces. That is your responsibility. Because, uh, let me tell you right now, the way he kept saying the left throughout his rant, felt like it just loosely translated to evil misandrous leftist woman that won't cater to my every need. Because this vague and ominous left, some of the references he makes for the people that were pushing back against him were obviously women that didn't agree that they're in charge of dealing with a bunch of fascist dudes. So that's how I came to the conclusion that uh, this loose, the left, uh, can be translated to roughly evil leftist woman that won't coddle me like a baby. Hey there, buddy. If you think that there is a lack of leftist spaces for men, and then it's not the job of leftist women to create those spaces. And what's also ludicrous about this is that even though it is not their job, to, you know, make spaces for men. Because why the fuck would they do that? They aren't men. Men need to make those spaces. Anyways, not the point. Um, kind of the point. They still, regardless, do uplift men and give positive masculinity advice. You just refuse to look for advice that doesn't give you advice on how to get your dick wet. Like, this feels exactly like when men were complaining that nobody cared about Men's Mental Health Day. Okay, then that's you and your buddy's job to make a fuss about Men's Mental Health Day. What you're insinuating here feels like you're insinuating women should have made more of a fuss about Men's Mental Health Day when it is on you and your buddies to do that. It is Men's Mental Health Day. Especially considering that um, the mental health of men is often at detriment due to other men. So, anyways, that's what this feels like. What do you mean there are no male leftist spaces that can talk about positive masculinity and give advice to male leftists so that we can be better? Okay, make those spaces. Are you expecting women to do it? And a lot of his uh, whole shtick in the video was that men need specific um, and practical advice um, on how to be better and be a good leftist man, which does exist. Once again, you just don't like the people it's coming from or the type of advice you're being given. I literally saw a thread today from a cis man, I believe, I'll fact check myself on that, giving practical and healthy advice on how to be a man photographer and make people of marginalized genders feel safe. 
during a photo shoot. A whole thread of advice. It exists. You're just not looking for it, especially because that type of, uh, of advice isn't, you know, uh, how to get your dick wet. And other spaces that talk about, you know, ways of positive masculinity and things of that like all the time, like butch and trans mask lesbians or trans men, they give that advice all the fucking time. That is a space of positive masculinity for the most part. You just don't want to listen to them because you're cis men. It exists, spicy liberal. You're not looking for it. You don't care for the people that are giving the advice. Second thing I had a severe problem with during his uh, fun little rant, he kept going on and on and on about selling an ideology, which I think is a very nauseating way to say that. Ideologies, get this, are not McDonald's marketing campaigns. E cats. They are personal belief systems based upon your values. There is no selling an ideology to a fascist. The fascist either needs to completely transform themselves, or you have essentially invited a fascist into the space without them, you know, ever changing themselves under the guise of marketing your ideology. For example, I'm an anarchist. Hi. If anarchists were to sell our ideology, we would be flooded with fascists that only really see the whole individual freedom part, but seem to think that there are no consequences for your actions under, you know, the anarchism ideology. They do not fundamentally understand our anarchism, and they have not changed their fascist ways. They are just taking the bits that were hypothetically sold to them and running with it without learning more about the actual fundamentals of said ideology. We see this shit with anarcho-capitalists all the time. The thing is about anarchism is that there is a no hierarchies rule, but anarcho-capitalists did not get that memo. They got the whole individual freedom kind of memo. Oh, of course, it's individual freedom for me, but not for thee, of course. The fascism within them still remains, and you've essentially just put a shit ton of marginalized people in danger by inviting a bunch of fascists into the space under the guise of selling an ideology. This isn't about marketing, spicy liberal. This is about the actual values people hold and the actual actions people take. You cannot transform a fascist in a day, and you certainly cannot do so with a McDonald's marketing campaign. That is a deliberate choice they need to make, and it is often the choice they do not make. We are on shenanigans number three. Spicy liberal who shall not be named essentially argued that men and boys uh, are in no way interested in preserving the patriarchy or the power they hold, but are rather simply just reacting to the outside world uh, that has given them insecurities, fear, and disgust. And to that I say, spicy liberal, fear of what? Disgust of what? Spicy liberal literally uses examples of race uh, in comparison to try to give examples of what he meant, and it completely backfired on him, in my opinion. It was a terrible fucking example. He used the example of how white men have used the messaging of sexual inferiority in comparison to that of a black man um, in order to sort of ramp up the racism uh, against black men. While this is true and did happen, this sexual inferiority you are describing here is literally patriarchy and misogyny. It's the idea that black men are stealing your white woman, like you've laid claim to them like objects. Sure, it's preying on the sexual insecurities of white men, but what are these insecurities that we are speaking of? It's the insecurity of losing their sexual and general power over white women. That is the insecurity, which is patriarchy and misogyny. Yes, the right does prey on the insecurities and fears of men. But what are those fears? What are these disgusts you speak of? The fear is losing the power that men have. The disgust? The marginalized people liberating themselves from the oppression of these men. It doesn't exist in a vacuum, spicy liberal. Rest assured, there are terrible arguments in this video. 
But the worst one was when he tried to assert that because boys and men don't directly think, um, or may not directly think, I want to maintain and uphold power in the patriarchy, that that isn't what they are thinking. He thinks that this needs to be unsubtly and directly said in order for it to be true, and that there are no other thoughts that are more subtle um, and inconspicuous that, you know, do hint that this is the case on an underlying basis. He asserts that I want to maintain the patriarchy needs to be a literal and direct thought in order for it to be true. That is the most juvenile argument I've ever heard in my life. That is just fucking ludicrous, dude. Most people don't think, I want to maintain power. They do so in subtle and inconspicuous ways a lot of the times. It exists even when it's not bluntly said or thought. Why am I explaining this as a 21-year-old man to a 28-year-old man? He also, at this point, uses another race comparison, which, you know, never goes in his favor. And he uses the idea that oppressor groups like white people will, you know, not see themselves as, you know, the oppressor group that wants to maintain power, but rather that they are oppressed because they don't have, you know, that same power. Hmm, I wonder why that is, spicy liberal. Do these people in power, perhaps, now think that they are oppressed because they do not have the same oppressive power that they had previously? Because that's why they're upset. These oppressor groups had the power, and as soon as they no longer, you know, had that same amount of power, they perceived it as oppression, because they don't have that same power anymore, even if it's just marginalized groups liberating themselves from, you know, their oppression and power. Once again, it is a power thing. And uh, tomfoolery number four, Spicy Liberal asserts that uh, men do, in fact, accidentally fall down the right-wing pipeline and finds the idea that they choose to go down that route ludicrous. I believe I've already gone through in this video a lot of the reasons why I think that this statement is ridiculous, and I just wanted to make clear that there is no falling down the right-wing pipeline like your Alice in Alice in Wonderland. That's not how this works. Because fascist ideals need to have existed prior inside that person's values, in order for them to want to take that path in the first place. It is a choice they make. A person with staunch anti-fascist principles is not in danger of, you know, taking the right-wing pipeline. Fascist groundwork needed to be laid prior in order for that teenage boy to choose the right-wing path, that fascist groundwork usually being the patriarchy he grew up surrounded by. His mother and sister doing all the domestic labor in, in, in the house there. Getting away with more terrible behavior than his sister in the household. Pulling little girl's hair on the playground and getting away with it because the teacher goes, Ah, he's got a crush on you. Being taken more seriously at home, in school, in sports. This is the power he was given as a child. And this is the power teenage boys want to maintain when they choose the right-wing pipeline. I had every fucking opportunity to take that right-wing pipeline as a teenager in the 2010s. But I didn't because I made the conscious decision not to hold baseline fascist values. I did not care for maintaining that power because I had girls that were my friends and I saw them as real people with no ulterior motives. Even with the influence of my father, who regularly manipulated women to get what he wanted, I did not choose the right-wing pipeline. That was a choice I made. Giving leftist men good advice is not going to destroy their baseline fascist values. That is a choice each individual man needs to make, and a process that each individual man needs to hold himself accountable for finishing and progressing through. The left is not responsible for men falling down the right-wing pipeline. Your choice 
to remain a fascist is.